Hello, everyone, and welcome to the MCU Exhibition Match. We have five of the top MCU players here to go through the three phases of MCU questions that we have written for them, and it is going to be a barn burner. Here to call this match with me is the one and only Commissioner, Tim Smith. How are you doing, Tim? Oh, you know, that'll be pretty good. MCU gauntlet match, so we'll see who knows the most about the MCU. Yeah, absolutely. This is going to be this is going to be really, really good. Uh, we have the uh, co-creator of Fandom himself, the center of the Forty Seven controversy, Kane the Hurricane McMillan, uh, one half of the Arkham Knights, Tim the Hulk Bracala, the showstopper Eli McCag, Hunter the Hitman Chambliss, and the arsonist Jay Burns in the house to go toe to toe to find out who is the best in the MCU. This is the first of four exhibition matches that'll be going up during this month's time period. Uh, this week, you know, we have MCU, don't worry. We also have Wizarding World, Disney, and the Brooklyn Vale Invitational also coming up this month. So there are a lot of subjects coming up that are going to have uh, free-for-all, not free-for-all style, but uh, five-way uh, gauntlet style, just yeah, Iron Man. That's the term I was looking for. Iron Man. Iron Man style matches. Wow. Okay, let's continue on with this match, Caleb. All this right. ought to be well, interesting. All right, well, we'll get right into it with proper introductions. Introducing first, coming to the ring with a record of zero wins and two defeats, representing the Neighborhood Watch Alliance. He is the arsonist, Jay Bird. And his opponent. Coming to the ring with a record of zero wins and two defeats. He is Hunter the Hitman Chambliss. Introducing next. Representing Multiplex Entertainment. And coming to the ring with a record of zero wins and two defeats. He is Kane the Hurricane McMillan! And their opponent, representing the Fellowship, and coming to the ring with a record of zero wins and one defeat, he is Tim the Hulk Brucala! And finally, their final opponent, Representing House Night Fury, and coming to the ring with a record of three wins and three defeats, is Eli, the Showstopper okay All oh, right. Another, another fun fact in this: uh, when you go down that way, the only the only one with wins is House Night Fury. So. I'm sure that's another fun fact. We'll hear Nico spout off until it's not relevant. Suck it, Cody. In the near future. <laughs> all right. Too all bad right. you're not manager of the year, but go ahead. All right, all right, all right. Gentlemen, this is how this is going to work. It is an Iron Man match. 30 questions, 10 from each phase of the MCU. For each phase of the MCU that you go through, one, two, and three, you're going to have one repeat per phase. Uh, you're going to have your challenge rule that is in effect for the entirety of the match. You throw a challenge. If it is accepted, you get your challenge back. If it is not accepted and you are proven wrong, uh, then you do not get it back because you have misused the Lucas Shieldbuck challenge. So, uh, any questions going into this Iron Man match? No, I'm good. Uh, yeah, I have a question. Yeah. Um, the world of DC only has one phase. So, how are we getting three phases? <laughs> Matt Kearns, Matt Kearns, settle down. All right. Your first question here in the first phase of the MCU Iron Man match. What is the name of the terrorist whose face is disfigured by Tony Stark and teams with Obadiah Stane in Iron Man? <sighs> Gotta launch things off with Iron Man, Tim. I, I, I always think this is a softball, but we'll, we'll see how it goes in the room, Caleb. <laughs> I don't know. You say softball, I say 47. Five. Four. Three, well, you're a dick. Two, <laughs> one. Pens down. We're going to start with Kane. I said 47. That is incorrect. We're going to go to Eli. I said Ross. That is correct. <laughs> Over to Hunter. Uh, I put Jensen. 
Yeah, I wanted to thank him for the time. Incorrect. We'll go to Jay. Uh, Raza. That is correct. And we'll go to Tim. I said the Three Rings Evil Guy. <laughs> While you are technically Tim. correct, you needed the name. And in all technicality, it is the Ten Rings. Yeah, Ten Rings. The guy. Whatever. <laughs> Oh, that's funny because you got it wrong too, Kane. All right, gentlemen, your second question. Who tasers Thor in the movie Thor? I really like Thor. It was the first MCU film I saw in theaters. Do you want character name or actor name? Uh, character. character name. We're looking for the character name. This is the first one you saw in theaters. I'm... I believe so. Well, you are very good. It was this or Iron Man 2. This or Iron Man 2. Can't really remember. Let's be honest. He wasn't born until at least Iron Man 3, so. (laughs) (laughs) Five. Four. Oh, and he still has a guy with pubic hair. One. Heads down. We're going to start with Brother Tim. Uh, Darcy? That is correct. We will go over to Jay. (laughs) I raced it and wrote it back again at the last second. Darcy. That is correct. We'll go to Hunter. I had Jane. Correct. We'll go to Eli. Darcy. That's correct. And Kane. Darcy. And he's on the board. Darcy. Everyone Martin. is on the board except for Charlie Brown. Your <laughs> next question: What movie does Steve Rogers understand the reference to in The Avengers? Did you understand that reference, Tim? Yes, I did, and I was surprised to see that they actually went to a movie this old, but it is Steve Rogers. Five. That man is playing Galaga. Three, two, (laughs) one. Pens down. We're going to start with Jay. Uh, Wizard of Oz. That is correct. We'll go to Hunter. We'll go to Eli. The Wizard of Oz. That is correct. We'll go to Kane. I didn't have it. And we'll go to Brother Tim. Wizard of Oz. That is correct. All right, gentlemen, your next question. What does Steve say when Peggy asks him how he feels after his experiment in in the first Avenger? Captain America, the first Avenger. One Kane, of my all-time favorites. Kane just hit himself in the helmet with his whiteboard. Did anyone else notice that? <laughs> I, I did I not. I know. Turn me off. <laughs> uh, I love First Avenger. This is uh, this. I think could be in the discussion for like my favorite of the origin stories from Phase One. I think this is one of the better separate movies in Phase One, not counting the Avengers at the end of the phases, but I think this is one of the better movies of the individual phases. Very true. Very true. Five. It's the fourth best MCU movie. Three. Two. And Jay Burns is disqualified. Pens down. We are going to start with Eli. Taller. That is correct. We'll go to Hunter. I said stronger. That is incorrect. We'll go to Kane. Taller. That is correct. We'll go to Jay. Hey, taller. That's correct. And brother Tim. Taller. That is correct. <laughs> All right. Your fifth question as we get to the halfway mark of phase one. What leading Marvel actress plays a U.S. Marshal in Iron Man 2? You skipped the one there, but that's okay. Oh, well, you know what? We'll circle back. Don't worry. Because this actress is very hot and... Iron Man. Are you looking for the the actress or the the character? We're looking for the actress name. The actress's name. Um, And one of my favorite movies in Iron Man 2, and I know you hate it. Iron Man 2 is the worst MC movie. And this is why you're fired. It's the worst. Five. Going back to Radio King. Oh, we're looking for repeat. Uh, Who said repeat? King. King. Ken using his repeat for the phase. What Marvel leading actress plays a U.S. Marshal in Iron Man 2. And this is why I uh, was saying to uh, our players uh, before the match, this is my worst form, like my worst, my worst formatted question doc. 
uh, because I cl- clearly just jumped the question. Um, so, yeah. That's why it helps to color them, and you can tell. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, I told this the question I would let him look at weirdly. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We're going to start with Kane. Uh, it kills me, I can't remember her name, but she plays Invisible Woman in Fan 4 stick. That is yes, she does. correct. Uh, we'll oh. go to Eli. Kate hey, Mara. That no, is answer. correct. We will go to Hunter. I had Scarlett Johansson. That is incorrect. We'll go to Jay. Kate Mara. That is correct. And Brother Tim. I said Olivia Munn because she's playing <laughs> the reporter in that movie. Ooh. Yeah. You know... I would like to officially file a complaint. Mara Kanopic, you threw me off because I knew it was Mara, but I kept saying Kanopic, and I was like, nah, it's not Kanopic. <laughs> well, the former Intergeekdom champion uh, is to blame for that one. Tim, you want to give him the next question? All right, your next question comes in the one that Caleb co host so skipped, and I don't blame him because it's a shitty movie. How many days without an incident has Banner gone when he visits Culver University in The Incredible Hulk? Oh, this question brings back memories for me. Mm-hmm. I kind of forget, Hulk. but so does most of the audience members we have. Most people forget The Incredible Hulk. Yes. I was going to watch it, but I'm going to watch it today. I didn't watch the movie, actually. Like, hey. It's not terrible. It's better than Ang Lee's Hulk. I, I like it, but it's also one that ranks pretty low on the MCU list for me. This question is part of the reason why there's a rule named after me in this division. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We're going to start with Brother Tim. Fourteen. Ooh, close, but incorrect. We'll go to Jay. Oh, then I'm way off, dude. I said 365. That is very, very wrong. We'll go to Hunter. <laughs> very off. Yes. We'll go to Hunter. Hey, fuck you. It's the uh, first one I said 80 days. I'm way off, too. Ooh. All right, we'll go to Eli. All right, this is probably wrong. I said 38. Oh, too high. And Kane. I said three. Oh, too low. We were looking for 17. 17. I knew it wasn't. Ah, 17. Tim the closest. Tim All being right. the closest. All right, so no one is perfect uh, so far going through. Your next question. What two main Avengers are directly referenced via objects in Iron Man 2? Iron what? Man 2. One of my favorites. You Through hate objects? this movie, but you wrote... Yep. Via objects. Repeat the question. All right, Hunter, using his repeat, your question. What two main Avengers are directly referenced to <laughs> via objects in Iron Man 2? Iron Man 2 getting a lot of love for questions in this first round. <laughs> well, there's, there's many questions you can write about Iron Man 2. Let me see you movie. Of course. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We're going to start with Kane. All right. I hope I understood the question. I said Black Panther and Captain America. That is incorrect. We'll go to Eli. I might have a challenge. Captain America and Thor. That is correct. We will go to Hunter. I literally wrote it down Captain America and Thor. That is correct. We will go to Jay. Hey, look at that. I'm back on my street. Captain America and Thor. That is correct. And Brother Tim. Captain America and Thor. That is correct. I would also like to challenge that. So That is your official challenge, King. After the challenge has been reviewed, Kane will lose his challenge. Uh, it does. The board has a circle over Africa, but there are circles all over the world. It's sort of indiscernible as to whether or not it's directly referencing Wakanda. So we are not going to give Kane the point on that one as we were looking for the Molnir and Captain America shield. All right, on to the next question, Tim. All right, your next question. Who is the leader of the Chitauri? Who directly opposes or d- directly converses with Loki throughout the Avengers? Even though him and Loki did have their rivalry of uh, a dick measuring contest for who they think is in control, but you know. Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, I, I think their scenes together were always very intriguing, and then the post. 
I enjoyed watching this person's fate though later on in the MCU because five, I, I, four, yeah. three. Yeah, he didn't do two, much. One, pens down. We're gonna start with Kane. It's the other. That is correct. We will go to Eli. The other. That is correct. We will go to Hunter. Nah, I couldn't pull it. We'll go to Jay. The other. That is correct. And Brother Tim. I didn't have it. All right. Your next question. Your penultimate question. In phase one, who plays Fandral, the dashing, in Thor? I like this one. I like this question. Uh, Thank you. Uh, I like this question, too. Because I broke it. Uh, yeah. Go fucking figure. Uh, Thor. I like this movie a lot. And I think yeah. the Warriors 3 are really, really cool characters that never got to be used fully. Lady Sif got a lot more to do uh, in her appearances on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. though. Yeah. And that's that, that, I saw her once on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. season 1. 5, 4, 3. That show got better two, with age. One. Watch it. Pens down. We're going to start with Brother Tim. I don't have it. We will go over to Jay. Is it Josh Dallas? It is Josh Dallas. We will go to Hunter. I had Zachary Levi, but he didn't come in until later. Nope. We will go to Eli. Joshua Dallas. That is correct. And we will go to Kane. I am terrible with that name, so I said not Zachary Levi. Go see Shazam. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Zachary Levi as he took over in Thor The Dark World yeah. Josh Dallas of ABC's Once Upon a Time is correct alright Tim you want to give them their last question in phase one alright your last question in phase one what infantry is Bucky assigned to in Captain America the first Avenger? Closing this out with a toughie. But it's going to be interesting to see if Eli and Jay can keep going blow for blow here. Only missing one in phase one. That's very true, Jay. You are just going at it. Alright, we're going to go five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We are going to start with Eli. This may not be right. I said 50 first. That is incorrect. We'll go to Hunter. Couldn't pull it. We'll go to Jay. The 107th. And that he is, hits it. That is correct. We'll go to Brother Tim. Yeah, I said the 5th. So. That is incorrect. And Kane. I started with the 47th, and then I went to the 51st, and then I landed on the 102nd. Oh, you were so oh, close. close. So close. 107th. And at the end of phase one, Jay Burns is in the lead with nine. Eli right behind him with eight. Brother Tim right behind them with four. Kane in fourth with three. And Hunter trailing with one as we get into phase two. Tim, you want to give them their first question of phase two? Of course. Your first question of phase two is as such. What is the full name of the kid who helps Tony in Shane Black's Iron Man 3? Full, first, first, just first, first and last name. Yes. I do not need a middle name because that is cruelty of an unusual kind. Oh I, don't even think, I don't even think the little fucker had one. I <laughs> think that the last name is cruelty. Yeah. No. <laughs> I don't think uh, well, this is an MCU gauntlet match. What? I like Iron Man. I hated it the first time, and then the more I go back to it, the more I kind of like it. I hated it the first time, too, and I still hate it, so... I thought it was okay. Four, three, two, one. Pens down. We are going to start with Brother Tim. I know it's Harley. I just don't know the last name. Harley Johnson. Harley Johnson is incorrect. We'll go to Jay. I said Ricardo. Ooh, that is incorrect. We'll go to Hunter. I literally have just Harley. Harley is the right first name. We'll go to Eli. Man, if I had the last name, I would be tied with Dick, but I said Harley Kickner. Oh, you were so close. We will go to Kane. I said, Harley, he has a potato gun. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say his last name was Kick-A-Nerd? 
<laughs> he said Harley Kickner is what he said. And the name is okay. Harley Keener. Harley uh, Keener. Dang it. Look, I knew it started with a K. I just couldn't think of Harley it. Harley Keener appearing in Avengers Endgame, according to IMDb. So Stupid. Cool. All right, your next question. Next question. What is the name of Malekith's right-hand man in Thor The Dark World? This is the worst movie of them all. Yeah, this is, you this is, there's the more name? to like in this than Iron Man 2. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is an underrated movie. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Sorry. And what? I said there's two names that he goes by. Would you accept either or? We will accept either or. Okay. There is a main one we're looking for, but we will accept every yeah, possible he does name he gives. Go buy another one. Yep. The only good thing about this was Loki. This movie's underrated. Fair. I, like I, I kind of like it. It's, I mean, uh, it's better than uh, Iron Man 2. Five, I couldn't four, fucking sit through it. Three, two, I could sit through one. it because of Loki. Pens down. We're going to start with Kane. Curse. That is correct. We will go to Eli. Baldwin. All right, we'll go over to Hunter. Ben Bullet. We'll go over to Jay. It's the K. That is correct. And we will go to Tim. I said cursed. Is it not with the D at the end? It's not with a D. It's just curse. Okay. It's a curse. Uh, clarification. Did Eli get the point? Was that the second name he went by? Yes, it is the second name. Okay. I believe, yes. All right. Algrim was his very first name. Yep. That's the name from the beginning of the movie. Just clarifying for the score. Right, yeah. Yep. Nope. Yep. That curse is the one we were mainly looking for. All right. You want to give him our next question, Tim? Uh, all right. Your next question. What Dark Knight actor also plays an analyst in Iron Man 3. Uh, that's Scratcher. Yes. I love this guy's scene in The Dark Knight. I'm trying to remember his scene in The Dark Knight, honestly. But that's saying too much for and me your plan, play. And your plan is to blackmail this person? Ah! Okay. All right, five, four. Repeat. Three. That is Eli's repeat for the phase. Tim, you want to repeat the question for him? All right, your repeat for the phase. What Dark Knight actor also plays an analyst in Iron Man 3? If Kane may be dressed as an MCU character, he might be better off. I don't know. Maybe. Pens down. We Damn it, Barry. We're going to start with Kane. Nothing. I kept thinking of the Asian guy from uh, Winter Soldier. We'll go to Eli. I didn't get it. I, I just... I, yeah, I didn't get it. All right, we'll go to Hunter. Nothing. Jay. Anthony Michael Hall. I don't know. That's incorrect. We'll go to Brother Tim. I also had Anthony Michael Hall. <laughs> Looking for Joshua Harto. Joshua <laughs> Harto. I don't know who okay. is. is. He in the Dark Knight? Ooh. Yep, he is uh, Mr. Reese. Mr. Reese, the presumed. <laughs> oh. The presumed. Oh, even the military scenes. Dang yeah. gum it. All right, your next question: What two people does Loki disguise as while escaping with Thor in Thor: The Dark World? Like I said, the only reason I can watch that because Loki is such a good villain character. Yep, uh, good villain. Great, uh, great scene where he disguises as these two people. Um, yes. Yeah. He also disguises Thor. Disguises Thor as someone. That was funny too. <laughs> oh shit! No. Repeat the question. All right, Hunter's repeat for the phase. What two people? What two people does Loki disguise as while escaping with Thor in Thor the Dark World? We're talking about like main characters, right? Um, what two people? They're not necessarily main, just two people. Um, but yeah. Yes, what does he use as his uh, illusion two tricks? People, two people does Loki disguise as. Keyword, Loki. Five, four. Three, two, one. Pens down. We will start with Brother Tim. 
Is it Cap and Sif? Incorrect. We'll go to Jay. Is it Cap and Frigga? It's not Frigga. You guys are right with Cap, though. We will go to Hunter. I said Cap and Jane. That's incorrect. We'll go to Eli. I said Cap and Sif as well. It's incorrect. And Kane. I said Cap and an Asgardian guard. That is correct. Oh, uh, nice. We just all he disguises. He disguises. So he disguises Thor as Lady Sif. That's why I asked. That's yeah, 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 yeah. I, I had like Captain America play. and his guardian guard. You know, I have I have nothing to lose. So, well, no, I'm not gonna get the point anyway. It doesn't matter. I don't care. Never mind. All right, Tim, I want to give them their next question. All right, your next question in phase two. What is the name of Alexander Pierce's maid in the Winter Soldier? Wrong place at the wrong time. Winter Once Soldier, a still a top MC. Hell Still yeah. waiting for my Guardians of the Galaxy question. It is the uh, it is the third best MCU film actually. It's the first best MCU film actually. It's... <coughs> fight, All right, fight, fight, pro- fight, fight, fight. Don't worry, we'll probably bring that up at your condo Three, and watch it fight two, it out. One. This is now turned into Nerd Gallery. We are going to start with Hunter. Oh, uh, I had uh, Gloria. That is incorrect. We'll start with Jay. That was racist. Uh, Renata. It is Renata. <laughs> we'll go to Brother Tim. I said Roberta. Oh, we'll go to Kane. I said Rebecca. <laughs> and Eli. I said Rosa. <laughs> Jay, the only one getting Renata on that one. Hey, Jay's so pissed off. Jay is okay. racist. In our defense, we knew it started with an R and end with an A, uh, so. <laughs> All, right. Just, like, name awesome. All right, and your softball question of the round. What was the last film released in Phase 2? Softball question for the round. Toss it up. Let's watch all five hit it out of the park. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hands down. We'll start with Kane. Ant-Man. And then I drew a little little Ant-Man. That is correct. We'll go to Eli. I also said Ant-Man. That is correct. We'll go to Hunter. Ant-Man. That is correct. Jay. Oh, no, I didn't have it. Okay. We will move on over to Brother Tim. Ant-Man. That is correct. Jay, the only I feel like Jay did that on purpose. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Keep it interesting, baby. Keep it interesting. All right. <laughs> and we want to get into the next question. I don't really blame him. Some of them need to <clears throat> help more than others. All right. Your next question. What villain appears in the post credit scene of The Winter Soldier? A lot of good post credit scenes. Can I ask a clarifying question? Yep. There's... Do we have to just name one villain that appears in a post credit scene? There's the main one we're looking for, but if you want to get smart, I guess I can technically accept what you're going for. Because there are two post credit scenes as well, so... Okay. That both have villains in it. You can, you can take, you can shoot your shot, but I think, I think you know what we're going for. I hope I do. <laughs> Four, three, two, one, pens down, we will start with Kane. It's the Winter Soldier. Alright, we'll go to Eli. Wolfgang we were looking for Wolfgang von Strucker, but we will accept Winter Soldier because you are technically also correct. We will go to Hunter. Winter Soldier. Alright, we will go to Jay. No, but I didn't have it. And we will go over to Brother Tim. I said Strucker. Yeah. Strucker is what oh. we were looking for. We can accept We can accept Winter Soldier. Right? Now I feel bad because I only said Winter Soldier because I was trying to back up Tim. <laughs> well... <laughs> No, I mean, I was I was actually originally thinking of, like, the twins, because technically, oh. like, they're villains. Yeah, that's what I thought he was going for, also. Yeah. I, mean, I thought he was going for like, The second scene has Soldier, so that, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a great area we'll accept it, because... Yeah. And Jay's still playing with his food, by the way of it. Yep, there's t- Jay and Eli tied with 11. And your next question. Who plays Corman Day in Guardians of the Galaxy? I'm sorry, you broke up a little bit. Who plays who? Um, I will repeat that for free. 
who plays Corman Day in Guardians of the Galaxy? Small part, but a very uh, fun part. Yes, the we will not accept Chris Day as Corman Day <laughs> because Chris Day would have destroyed this character movie and series. Oh, it, it's his it's his favorite MCU movie. I thought his favorite MCU movie was Batman v Superman. If you tell him wrong, tell him he's wrong, <laughs> and he'll attack you. Five. I thought that four, would have been Kane, to tell you the truth. Three, but... two, one. Hands down. We will start with Brother Tim. John C. Riley. That is correct. We will go to Jay. Hey, he got their dick message, bro. It was John C. Riley. That is correct. We will go to Hunter. I had Nick and Philly. We will go to Eli. I said Glenn Close, but I I'm about to challenge. Glenn right, Close's character's name was no Two Cade. Um, I thought it was the dude from Pirates of the Caribbean, so I wrote, "Dude from Pirates of the Caribbean." Of course, you would ask, if not a plot-based question for Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, <laughs> I want to. I want to slightly challenge it. Yeah, Back for the challenge, Eli will be losing his challenge. Corman is not the name; it's the title, and that's where the confusion came from. All right, moving on. To your next question, Tim, you want to give them their penultimate question of Phase 2. Alright, your penultimate question in Phase 2. Which two composers composed the score for Avengers Age of Ultron? The weaker of the Avenger movies. The worst Avengers movie. It's still watchable. I'm not saying it's like a bad movie. I'm just saying it's if, if you have to rank the three Avengers movies, everyone's putting Age of Ultron in that three slot. No one's oh, gonna tell yeah. you. No one's yeah. gonna tell you Age of Ultron's better than the first the one or slot. Infinity War. The four no. slot, Civil War. The four slot. Yeah, the Civil War. Three, two, five, one. Pens down. We will start with Kane. It's Brian Tyler and Danny Elfman. That is correct. We will go to Eli. I said Danny Elfman and Alan Silvestri. Incorrect. We'll go to Hunter. Brian Tyler and Danny Elfman. That is correct. We'll go to Jay. Hey, how many times have you seen me get a scores and soundtrack question right, y'all? It's Brian Tyler and fucking Danny Elfman. That is correct. And Brother Tim for the close. Did not pull it. Ooh. All right. Your final question of phase two. What is the name of the doctor who Ultron forces to build him a new body in Avengers Age of Ultron? First and last name? First and last name. I actually know this. Good for you. I think. Watch me be completely wrong, because I could have swore <laughs> and do this to, like, the not like, Johnson, right? Like, so confident, Wait, Chuck Brown, Jay Burns. Times. Jay Burns is the doctor. <laughs> uh, uh, damn, I didn't four. think you'd see me under all that prosthetic, or the prosthesis. <laughs> One. Pens down. We will start with Brother Tim. Dr. Helen Cho. That is correct. We will go to Jay. I make a sexy ass Asian lady, bro. Dr. Helen Cho. That is correct. Hunter. Good bullet. We'll go to Eli. Helen Cho. That is correct. And Kane. Dr. Helen Cho. That is correct. And at I, was the man, I was so looking forward to Kane getting it wrong. At the end of phase two, we have Jay in the lead with 14. Eli trailing with 12, Kane up to third now with nine, Brother Tim right behind him with eight, and Hunter in last with four, but we still have an entire third phase to play, and the Question. final and Question. third phase. Question. All right, here we go to phase three, gain a point, lose a point as we get into phase three. And your first question in phase three, who directed Spider-Man Homecoming? Start off with a bit of a softball to get round three started. You said that before, and insert foot in mouth. I said the last one in phase two is easy, and I, I wasn't wrong. You said a couple other ones, too, that were easy. And did I? I don't think I did. Yeah. All right, yes, five. you did. Four, 47 three, is pretty easy. Two, <laughs> one. Pens down. We're going to start with Brother Tim. John Watts. That is correct. We will go to Jay. Nope. Nope. I got John. I couldn't get Watts. Incorrect. We'll go to Hunter. John Watts. That is correct. Eli. John Watts. That is correct. He ties the lead. And Kane. John Watts. That is correct. Hey, Jay. How you doing? I want to give him the next Good question. Good buddy. All right. 
your next question. What year did Bucky kill Tony's parents? Because this was hammered into that movie more than anything. More than Thor's hammer. Oh, your was bad. Thor never appeared in Captain America. So they have a nice little short, you know, about it. And then uh, our <laughs> Ruffalo get together. It's directed by uh, Taika Waititi. Um, Five, nice little short. Four. He has a roommate named Daryl. Two, one, hands down. We will start with Brother Tim. Is it 85? Incorrect. We will go to Jay. 1991. That is correct. We will go to Hunter. Uh, no. All right. We will go to Eli. The year my sister was born, 1991. All right. And Kane. Six years before I was thought of, 1991. That is correct. You were born in 97? Yeah, boy. I was born in... Jay, Jay, I'm from 1999. <sighs> so chill out. That's, that's right. sad. I'm the oldest motherfucker. Here. I was born in 1990, dog. Like, <laughs> Dang, how was 1990? Over here. <laughs> All right. Your next question in phase three. Fucking young kids. Who plays Doctor Strange's medical rival, Doctor Nicodemus West? This is a fun bit of uh, trivia, fun supporting role for a guy that I think we all know. And I like the rival better than smartass Doctor Strange, but you know. That is uh, an opinion held by you and Roxy Schreier alone, sir. Fun okay. fact for Kane, the rival is the name of a character in the Arrowverse. Yeah, I know that. He's uh, a flash. <laughs> he a flashpoint. Three, two, Just trying to make you feel better, buddy. One, pens down. We will start with Kane. It's Rachel McAdams. That's incorrect. We will go to Eli. Michael Stolberg. Eli. He said Michael it wrong. Michael Stolberg. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep, that's Sick. Yep, Michael Stuhlbarg. Michael Stuhlbarg is correct. Uh, we'll go to Hunter. I said Jay Burns. <laughs> that is incorrect. We'll go to Jay. Uh, yeah, no, I don't have it. So somebody else gets to take the lead for the first time this match. All right, and Brother Tim. Michael Stuhlbarg. That's a big point oh, for Brother Tim. Nice. Okay, can you now tell us why he's relevant? Why Michael Stuhlbarg is relevant? I don't know who that is. Oh. He was in The Shape of Water. The Shape of Water, Call Me By Your Name. He was in, like, I think it, he was, in three, yeah, best post, he was in three Best Picture nominees last year. He's the lead in a simple, uh, in, or in a serious man for the Coen Brothers. Yeah, he's the dad. I'd be great if I've actually watched those three movies. Oh, okay then. All right, Tim, you want to give him the next question? All right, your next question. Name three of the five original Guardians besides Yondu who appear in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume oh. 2. I can literally name the people who play them, but I can't. This is a good one. I like this question. I, I like, like to argue that they thing. never say their names. They do in that post scene. They never say their names. Yes, they do. They say okay. one of their names. Chain and Caleb fighting over uh, fandom. What the Hunter fuck is else? using his repeat. Repeat. All right. Hunter is out of his repeat. Your question. Name three of the five original Guardians, besides Yondu, who appear in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I'm probably just gonna knock a point off for me. No. Yeah, same. I'm still gonna five. give you an answer. Four. I'm sure you will. Two. One. Pens down. We will start with Kane. I have Sylvester Stallone, Miley Cyrus, and Michael <laughs> Rosenbaum. <laughs> While those are three of the people who played them, that is incorrect. We will go to Eli. I said Stakar, Oddar, Charlie, Queens, and Aletta. I think that was the That is correct. Aletta is What? Correct. Aletta is correct. We will go to Hunter. Nope. All right. We will go to Mr. J. Burns. Okay, so... So you go ahead and take a look at this. I have Stakar, I have Martin X, I have Stakar, and then I tried to write Aletta. If you won't give it to me, that's cool, but... Um... I can kind of see it. I have it better up here. Uh, 
Yeah, I, I mean, I can see. I right can see. Oh, oh, it's because it's, it's backwards on my screen. That's why. Okay. Oh, okay. Yep. No, I see it. Yeah, okay. I see it. I see it. Um, You're okay. Correct. Cool. Right, that is correct. All oh, right. It's like, what the fuck is Sylvester Stallone's wife's name in that movie? <laughs> and, and Tim. Tim. Um, oh yeah, I, and Tim. Gar, Nico, and Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> and just because. No, I don't. I'll be honest. They I forgot fall? Michael Rosen. Wait. Hang on. Character's name. The full list of people that you could have said are Staccaro Guard, Martinex, Charlie Twenty Seven, Aletta, and Mainframe. Because I don't care, and we're about, it's like almost over, I trust K Kane, do you actually think they never say it in the movie? Because I'll challenge it. If they never say the it Stakar. is right, because they say yeah. it earlier in the yeah. movie, but the rest of them, I don't remember, and I don't, I don't either. I don't care enough to like lose my We challenge. have nothing to lose. So, I'm going to officially challenge All it. Right. That they never officially say it in challenging it. I'm... <laughs> Right, uh, so upon for the review, we're going to award Tim his challenge. Uh, the names are not said, so we're going to throw that question out. Scores are set. We're going to give a new question, and your question in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 is, what song plays at the end of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 when they are burying Yondu? That is, that is the term that I can come up with. Despite and I there. actually know this answer. <laughs> This is the space equivalent of a Viking funeral. Yes. It's the best scene in the Five. movie. It is. Four. I've only seen this movie once. Two. One, you need to see it again, boy. Pens down. We'll start with Kane. I told you we father? should these people. It is father and son. We'll go to Eli. I didn't know it. I said, no, no, hey, hey, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Nope, they will take Eli down to 14. Hunter. I said over the rainbow. That is incorrect. We will go to Jay. Uh, he was Mary Poppins, y'all. It made my heart hurt, and it makes my heart hurt more that I didn't get this right. I said into the blue. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and Brother Tim. Father and son. That is correct. So after that, uh, Eli still in the lead with 15. Jay Four. right behind with 12. 14. 14. 14. 14. Okay, my bad. I was like, he's still got a two lead. He's still got 14. two points on me. Yeah. All right. So after that, I have Eli in the lead with 14, Jay in second with 12, Kane in third with 11, Brother Tim in fourth with 10, and Hunter in last with two. And your next question. Next All right. question. Your next question. Uh, yeah. Go ahead, Tim. Who is the actor portraying Thor in Loki's play in Thor Ragnarok? What number oh. question is this in this round? This is question five. This is the fifth question. We are halfway through the final round. Okay, just wanted to be sure. Mm -hmm. Halfway through the final round. And this is a great scene in this movie. Great scene. So, five. Bro, the question was, who played play Thor mm -hmm. in the play with Loki and Thor? Two? Sure play? Yes. Because you cut One. out. You he went sure. in and out. No, he, he went oh. in and out for me. So I was just making sure that was the play. Okay, well, Penn's down. Um, all right, we'll start with Kane. Luke Hemsworth. It is indeed Luke Hemsworth. We'll go to Eli. I had Luke Hemsworth. That is correct. We will go to Hunter. I had Liam Hemsworth. Oh, incorrect. We will go to Jay. I have Lucas Hemsworth. Luke Hemsworth is correct. We will go to T Brother Tim. No, wait, he legit had Lucas Hemsworth oh, written down. Yeah, Lucas. So check to see if that's his actual name. Okay, I will yeah, double check that. Short for um, Lucas. All right, brother Tim, what do you have? Luke Hemsworth. Okay, I am gonna double check real quick to make sure that Luke is not. Everyone besides Jay and Hunter said. Seven... Yeah, no, it's Luke. It's not Lucas. What is this? What is this? Right. Hey, it's his proper name, sir. Not Lucas. It's his proper <laughs> name. By the way. <laughs> Just watch. His proper name is Luke, and not even Luke. His his proper name is actually Luke, and not Lucas. Oh, so we shit! We can't give you the point. That's fucking funny. <laughs> it, it, it literally says in my in my declaration, Luke Hemsworth was born oh. to, and is the brother of. Okay, so uh, Jay had twelve before this question. Now yeah, he has so he's eleven. Down to eleven. Okay. So, just, 
So now Brother Tim and Jay are tied for third. Kane moves up into second. Woo! Eli is still in the lead with 15. That's As we get to the last question, or not the last question, the next question. I'm done. All right. Your next question. Who retrieves the heart-shaped herb that saves T'Challa in Black Panther? What do you think that paste tastes like? I'm not you, sure, you but I know that... Out. Sorry, what? You went in and out for me. I couldn't hear the question. Okay, I will give you a free technical repeat. Who retrieves the heart-shaped herb that saves T'Challa in Black Panther? Hopefully I get this right because I'm wearing a Black Panther shirt, but... Well, will most likely be the first superhero movie to be nominated for Best Picture. I just want to say, I haven't missed Four. a single Superman question. Three. <laughs> repeat the question. All right, that is Tim's repeat. Your question: Who retrieves the heart-shaped herb that saves T'Challa in Black Panther? Ah, uh, it's fifty-fifty. Right. Five, four, three, two, Hello, right. One. Hands down. We will start with Brother Tim. I just can't remember her name. Is it like Nakia? Nakia is correct. You will go to Jay. Nakia. That is correct. You will go to Hunter. I thought it was M'Baku. Never mind. It was not M'Baku. We will go to Eli. Nakia. Nakia yeah, is you. correct. And Kane. I thought it was the other one, Sherry. Not Sherry. All right. And with that, Eli's in the lead with 16. Right. Jay and brother Tim are tied for second with 12. Kane is in third with 11, and Hunter has zero. Eli, will you just miss to make this interesting? I don't want to. Tim, you want to give them their next question? My accuracy Your rating. next question. What is the name of the agent assigned to make sure Scott Lang stays under house arrest in Ant-Man and the Wall? I feel like this particular actor is all, is always in comedy mode, whether he's trying to be or not. It's true. He was hilarious. I thought he was great. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We will start with Kane. I hope I'm right. Agent Kim. That's incorrect. We'll go to Eli. Eli. Eli? Oh, I didn't hear you. Sorry. Jimmy Woo. Jimmy Woo is correct. We will go to Hunter. Nothing. All right, we will go to Jay. Chang. Yeah, oh, Bill Chang. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> and we will go to Brother Tim. Randall Park. Randall Park is the actor. <laughs> the actor. Not the name. All right. Your next question, your third to last question. What planet is the Soul Stone hidden on in Avengers Infinity War? I just rewatched that. Let's see if we can finish this out strong. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We will start with Kane. Voromir? Voromir is correct. We'll go to Eli. Voromir. That is correct. We will go to Hunter. I had nowhere. All right. We will go to Jay. Voromir. That is correct. And Brother Tim. Voromir. That is correct. Sounds a lot like Voromir. Uh, <laughs> Tim, you want to give them their penultimate question of the match? All right, your penultimate question. Who is the Stonekeeper in Infinity War? I'm just saying, there has not been a Thor Ragnarok question this match. Yes, there has. <laughs> There's not. Luke Hemsworth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there has been. So shush. Luke is Hemsworth. I fucking Thor. hated that question, bro. There hasn't been a single Thor Ragnarok plot based plot based question this match. We'll go to Brother Tim. Can't believe I almost missed this. Red Skull? That is correct. We will go to Jay. 
I have Johan Schmidt slash Red Skull. That is correct. We will go to Hunter. Red Skull. That is correct. Eli. Yeah, Red Skull. That is correct. And Kane. I had the Red Skull. Clean sweep. All right. And your final question of the match. What is the name of the routine that Thor and Loki used to escape in Thor Ragnarok? There's your <laughs> fucking plot based Thor Ragnarok question. Kane. That's why right. you don't complain until the last question is asked. Thank right. you. Can, can we just get a quick five count? Yeah, we'll do that quick. Five, four, three. Can I get a repeat? Two. All right, Kane's using his repeat for the match. Oh, I thought you were just starting back at four. <laughs> what is the name of the routine? What is the name of the routine that Thor and Loki used to escape in Thor Ragnarok? I just want to point out, I really didn't need it. I'm just drawing something. Oh, okay. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, Kane. Is it get help? And that is correct. Are you throwing Loki into some guards? He's leading Loki into some guards right now. Five. <laughs> I'll be honest. I forgot it, and I just said, help me. Oh, that is incorrect. All right, we will go to Hunter. I said hide and seek. That is incorrect. We will go to Jay. Hey, let's do get help. That is correct. And Brother Tim. Get help! <coughs> and your winner, Eli, the showstopper McKay, with 18 points in the lead. A tie for second between Brother Tim and Jay with 14 apiece. Kane coming in third, or in third, fourth, however you want to look at it, with 13. And Hunter coming in last with negative two. Um, uh, if you want to go with negative. But yeah, Eli winning the MCU Exhibition Iron Man match. Let's start with Eli. Eli, how do you feel right now about winning this? Oh man, I feel great. I'm honest, like, that's it. I just wanted to, yeah, I just really wanted to win this MCU thing. That's all. I am look, I had fun with my other competitors. There are a few questions that all of us wanted to challenge because we questioned them. Some of us got, it, got our challenges. Some of us, a couple of us didn't. But hey, it was okay. We were, we were just having fun. That's all this match was, just about having fun. And yeah, I had fun. That's good. Um, so it's, uh, I'm glad that uh, you uh, you had fun. I'm glad that you enjoyed yourself, and I'm happy that uh, congratulations on winning. Um, yeah. Thank you. So this has been the first. This is the first off season appearance that we have for you, or your one off season appearance uh, competing. Yep. Um, how are you excited to get back in for season two? Uh, and if so, is there anyone you are looking to face when we get back into season two? Oh yeah, I'm very much looking forward to coming back season two. Who I'm looking forward to? Well. That's all dependent on what the people in charge give me. I, I'm fine with whoever the people in charge in Warzone and fandom and the TV stuff. I'm fine with whoever you guys put me up against because I just know that I have that multiplex gauntlet championship title match in my back pocket waiting for me to use it. Whatever. Absolutely. And by the right. way, by the way, suck it, Cody. All right, we're going to go over to uh, one of our two second-place finishers, Jay Burns. How do you feel about your performance here today? Uh, man, there were just a couple of really simple questions I missed. Uh, and it happens. You know, it's not like it was difficult uh, 47s or anything. It was Luke versus <laughs> Luke trying to remember one director's name and writing down the wrong one. You know, I just had fun, bro. I, I have this need for trivia. And... Kind of showed in this match that I'm a little bit better than my 0-2 record that's preceding me into it. So I can't wait to play next season. Like, oh, and uh, Nico, I will be seeing you for your trivia on fourth on in a fucking jukebox match, right? All right, yeah, you're gonna fucking go down there, bro. I'm just saying, you're gonna go down cheap, faster than a two dollar hooker on a half price night. <laughs> <laughs> Only Jay would know that. I'm trying to think of a witty rap reference, but uh, yeah, we both obviously suck at music trivia, so get ready for a low-scoring match, but please donate to charity. 
All right. Well, uh, Nico, you, you're going to lose that jukebox match, apparently. You're also going to lose both band of matches because Tim and I are going to make sure that we beat the hell out of you. All right. Uh, we're going to go over to our second second place finisher, the one and only Tim Bacala. How do you feel about your performance here today? I feel great. Wonderful. Lovely. I was shocked that I tied for second, to be completely honest. It feels really good, though, to win a challenge um, on some bullshit questions. But uh, other than that... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm very happy about that. I'm also very happy that I watched Black Panther literally turned it off to come here and uh, play this. And uh, so I'm glad I got that Black Panther question right because I would have literally jumped off a roof if I had gotten it wrong. <laughs> um, all in all, this was fun. I had a good time. Uh, yeah, good time had by all. Absolutely. Um, and we have you coming back to play Arkham Knight as, with Arkham Knights against Nuclear Option for the opener. Uh, yep. Do you have any words for your opponents uh, for that match in a couple of weeks? Uh, they just might as well not show up. I mean, me and Robert um, have... Uh, well, what, what, what can I say? Me and Robert uh, have learned from our mistakes, uh, mainly my mistakes, and uh, we are going to just take them out. Uh, it's going to be great. I can't wait. All right, well, we will see you in the season opener, and we will head on over. Nope, he is gone. We're going to go to our uh, our fifth place finisher today, Hunter Chambliss. Um, how do you feel about your performance here today? I suck today. <laughs> Just say it. Just fucking say it. I had fun. I mean, that's all that matters, but I definitely should have done better than I did. Definitely got to study up on actors and actresses and fucking Oscars, apparently, with you, Caleb. <laughs> but... Um, there's no Oscar questions asked today. <laughs> I know, there's no Oscar questions asked today, though. He, he was saying, no, oh, Oscar <laughs> questions. I mean, none were asked. Um, but yeah, you know, um, yeah, you didn't have the strongest performance here today. Hopefully you can use the rest of the offseason to keep studying. Um, is there anyone you're looking forward to playing when we get into Season 2? Um, I love trivia. I will take on anybody. I will get my ass kicked by anybody. But, yeah. You know, um, fun fact, you're actually in a triple threat next season with another person in this match. Uh, Mr. J. Burns will be playing you and, one, and, one, and one brawler who may be your teammate, J.D. West. So, uh, Ooh. The, the three of you in Back a triple in the deck match. against me, huh, huh Coho? Uh, I mean, you're all 0-2, and, and 0-1 uh, right now at this point, so... It just kind of made sense. Uh, but yeah, um, uh, how do you feel about taking on your teammate and Jake? You're in a triple threat next season. Um, we'll see what happens. I'm definitely going to do a lot more studying. I'm definitely going to try to get better in the off season, and hopefully I can come out with a win in season two. All right, I like that optimism. And we will go over to our third place, fourth place finisher tonight, the Hurricane, Kane McMillan. How do you feel about your performance here today? It sucks. Uh, I wouldn't say you suck. You did pretty oh, no, good. No, 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 I, just, I meant the match. Oh, so, oh, okay. I just had a right. Like, I feel like this is Caleb's uh, thought writing process. Let me ask one question. Who played who? All right, let me ask a pop based question. Who played who? Pop based question. Who played who? Pop based question. <laughs> I, I just suck at, like, actors and actresses. I do too. So it's like, you know what it is, what it is. But you know what? When I play the Kings of Winter next season, Caleb won't be right. It's gonna be great. <laughs> that, is, that is very true. The second team match of the year, Kings of Winter, Knights of Steel, going at it in fandom. Um, and uh, you will not be walking out victorious, but you're right. I won't be writing those questions. We will leave those entirely up to the Commissioner Tim Smith to handle on his own. Uh, yeah, without it, without his two question writers. writers. I was gonna go watch some MCU movies today, and I get a message from Caleb like, hey, we got a right question for a match. I'm like, why didn't you do that a month ago? <laughs> all right well nice all right uh we're gonna start with oh, our both sure. match plugs so uh yeah we you already talked your trash for next season so i'm not gonna let you talk anymore because you've abused those privileges and we'll start with post match plugs with the manager nico swather rodoy who <laughs> left in the match here with me um nico uh plug your stuff 
Uh, yes. Uh, so Facebook, Twitter, YouTube at Nico Suave Regoli. That's N I C O S U A V E R E G O L I. Uh, the Week of Wrestling podcast with Hunter Chambliss right here, as well as Combat Zone Wrestling Trivia over on Film Nerd TV. Uh, dedicated to art with Case Cornelese and Christopher Skywalker Doman. Uh, check out the content there. And of course, right here at Multiplex Entertainment. That's the name of the Facebook group and the YouTube channel. The Twitter is at Multiplex YT. The Instagram is Multiplex Entertainment Network. T Public is just Multiplex. Check out our awesome shirts. Uh, um, schedule you pretty much know what it is. Movie Wars on Monday, TV Throwdown Tuesday, uh, Wednesday Sports Battlefield. Sometimes Thursday Co Hoskers and Crisis on Earth. Plex Friday Fandom Fight, Saturday Nerdgasm, Sunday Around the League with Nico, and of course the new After Show, and finally the John Rogoy Memorial Trivia Thon for Thon, uh, January twenty first to January twenty seventh. All around all of these fan leagues that we love to play in and enjoy, uh, raising money for the Four Diamonds Pediatric Cancer Research Fund uh, for Penn State Thon in honor of my late father. And you can check me out on January uh, that week, partially in Brooklyn, New York, for the Schmodown Live Week. So that's uh, my plugs. Eli, you can do your thing. I got to go help Zad with something else. So thank you all. This has been a great match. There you go. All right, Eli. You can find-